My name is Dr. Adrian Cora Waters, and I'm the proud principal of the J. Cresswell Stewart ECDC. This evening, parents, I'd like to welcome you to our second annual Back to School Night. Although it is virtual, there are lots of things that we have planned for you this evening. At J. Cresswell Stewart School, we are very passionate about the work that we do to help each and every one of our scholars receive a world-class education. We have many exciting activities planned for your child to ensure that they receive a great education while they are here with us. Parents with home and school working together, I am confident that we will have a wonderful school year. And our common word for this year is hope. Although COVID-19 presented many challenges for each of us, we will stay connected and we will hope for the best for each and every one of our scholars. Again, I extend a warm welcome to each of you. And I would like to thank you for joining us for our virtual back to school night. Thank you. Good evening, parents. Once again, my name is Dr. Adrienne Cora Waters and I'm the proud principal of the J. Cresswell Stewart Early Childhood Development Center. This evening, we are very pleased that you have elected to join us for our 2021-2022 virtual back to school night. As I mentioned in my opening remarks, we are all going to be very hopeful that we will be able to move our scholars through the school year and educate them as best as possible. And we thank you for your support as we do it. There are many things that we are proud of here at the ECDC. Our wonderful and brilliant scholars continue to attend school each and every day. We also have some of the best parents in the world. Our parents are amazing at the ECDC. Parents, we wanna thank you for being so supportive. We also wanna thank our community members and also our community partners. We're very excited that our enrollment throughout the district is up. And we have several new uh, educators here at the ECDC who have joined our team. Parents, I'd also like to thank you and commend you for doing a wonderful job being very honest in terms of any COVID matters that your household may be experiencing or your child. By being honest and transparent, you will help all of our scholars to be safe. At the ECDC, we have core values that we embrace and that we believe in. We believe in being very respectful to our children and to all of our families and anyone who is connected with the ECDC. We pride ourselves on moving with the highest level of integrity. We try to be open as well as transparent. Whenever there is a COVID case in the school, parents, you can be assured that you will receive a letter. To date, we have received two positive COVID cases in our school. And if we receive more, you will definitely be informed about the matter. We are responsible here and we are accountable to all of our students, our parents, our stakeholders, our partners, as well as the Willingboro community. And we have a high ethic of care here at the ECDC. People matter. And so you can always count on everyone at the ECDC treating you with the highest level of respect, demonstrating integrity, moving with honesty, being transparent, being very responsible and accountable, and having a high ethic of care. This year, we have three goals that we are going to focus on. We're going to focus on reading comprehension and close reading. And we will be using the Edgenuity program, which is a standards-based online learning tool to assess our children. That program will give us a baseline for our students, and then we will be able to see how far our students have grown in the area of reading comprehension. 
Our second goal is mathematical fluency and vocabulary. And once again, we're going to be using the Edgenuity platform to assess our scholars, getting a baseline to see where they are. And then at the end, we're going to assess them again to see how they've grown. Our last goal is very important, and that's our attendance goal. We definitely want to have a, a good attendance rate here at the ECDC. Last year for remote learning, we had some challenges, but this year parents, I'm hoping that with home and school working together, we are going to have great attendance for our scholars. So parents, please make sure you send them to school each and every day on time and ready to learn. And school starts at 8.50, we move in, but please be here at 8.45 a.m. each day with your child. What you can expect in terms of the curriculum at the J. Cresswell Stewart ECDC is that in preschool, the children use the creative curriculum. It is a well-researched curriculum and it is developmentally appropriate for young learners. The preschool children will also use something called, it's a practice called Message Time Plus. It's model writing and shared reading, and it builds great proficient readers and writers. In our kindergarten program, our children are exposed to Lucy Calkins Readers and Writers Workshop, Foundations, Message Time Plus, Eureka Math, Boss Science, and TCI Social Studies. When you visit your child's presentation this evening, the teachers are going to expound upon uh, all of these, um, the curriculum and the practices that are listed here. So please make sure you go to your teacher's presentation and each teacher is going to be talking uh, at length about the curriculum. At the ECDC, not only are we focused on a child's academics, but we celebrate the whole child. And so we are very concerned about children academically, behaviorally, emotionally, socially, and we also have high expectations for each and every child. Under the category of behavior, we have a PERT team here. If your child is experiencing any kind of difficulty, your child can be referred to the PERT team so that a group of educators can sit down with you and engage in a respectful and collaborative conversation about what types of modifications, accommodations, and strategies we can put in place to help your child. Emotionally and socially, we have Mrs. St. Ellen and Mrs. Agen, who Ms. Agen is our school counselor, Ms. St. Ellen is our social worker in the school, and they definitely help to meet children's needs, whether it's in the area of emotion or socially. Parents, I'll be communicating with you through a couple different ways. The primary way that I will communicate with you is through ThrillShare. If you are not receiving messages from me, then there's a good chance that your telephone number or your email is not correct in Genesis. You must contact Mrs. Edwards to get that corrected. I will be sending out newsletters. Parents, in the next day or so, you will receive the October edition. It's our first newsletter and I will be sending it through ThrillShare. I will also be starting a Sunday Parent Digest. Each, each Sunday, I'll send you a Parent Digest to keep you informed about everything that's happening at the ECDC. I want all of our parents to be very informed about what's going on at the school, and I want you to know about all events. I want you to know about all activities and anything that relates to J. Cresswell Stewart ECDC. Please remember to check your child's folder each night and check your emails quite often. Teachers may send something or I may send something. Parents, you can also request a meeting with me. I accept telephone calls. Uh, if you request my cell phone, I will definitely give you that if you need it in case of an emergency. I'm more than happy to share my cell phone number with the parents at the ECDC. I have been so appreciative to all of the parents who have been very respectful uh, with my uh, cell phone number and they, um, I have never had a problem. So I'm very comfortable sharing uh, my cell phone number with you. If you ask for it, I will share that with you. 
I'm also available for informal meetings. You can always find me on the blacktop for arrival and I'm on the blacktop for dismissal. Uh, so please feel free to contact me. Parents, we have a lunch program here. We serve our children free breakfast and lunch each day. If you have any problems or, or you are concerned about anything with the uh, lunch programs, parents, I'd like to respectfully ask that you please come to me first and we will try to work with um, our food service director to uh, correct any situation that you may not be pleased about. Uh, parents, we also need for you to fill out, this is very important, please fill out the lunch application, whether it doesn't matter uh, what your income level happens to be, we need for you to fill out the lunch applications so that we will continue to receive uh, Title I funding for our scholars. And parents, please know that we are a peanut-free facility. We've had a few scholars who uh, did bring in some peanut butter, but please know that we have children in our building who have severe allerg allergies to peanut butter and just the smell of peanut butter will make them feel ill. So we have a responsibility to one another. Uh, we are accountable to one another. So thank you in advance for not sending any peanut products into the e ECDC. And the teachers will talk about uh, birthdays. We are, we definitely welcome you sending things in for your child. We just uh, can't have anything that has peanuts in it. Parents, you're also free to pack your child's lunch each day. Parents and scholars, I'd like to invite all of you to get involved. There are lots of different ways. For our scholars, we have after school clubs and we have tutoring. Scholars can receive tutoring free of charge. We're going to be starting in October once our teachers are board approved after the October meeting. We also have the academics clubs club for any scholar who wants to uh, just learn a little more with uh, English language arts, mathematics, social studies, and science. We have the Little Feet Sports Club, the Music Club, and the Art Club, and all scholars are welcome to participate. Also, parents, please get involved with the PTA. Mrs. Shana Wiley is our president, and we will be receiving much more information uh, as it becomes available. Drop off and pick up. Thank you parents for arriving at 8.45 a.m. Many of you are doing an awesome job. Please be at the school at 3.30 to pick your child up and 1.30 if it's a half a day, but you will always be informed if it is going to be a half a day. Parents, you must send someone who is 18 years of age or older to pick your child up if you are not going to come. And please have your IDs ready. We are starting to, uh, we're getting to know all of our wonderful parents, but there may be some parents that we don't know. So please make sure you have an ID to pick up children. Also drive safely in our parking lot and please wear a mask at all times when dropping off and picking up children. Parents, please make sure your children are here every day and on time. We don't want them to be absent and we don't want them to be tardy. Letters are going to be going out in October for scholars who are absent and those scholars who are also tardy. We believe in our scholars and we believe in the good work that they're going to do someday. So we want them to have appropriate and appropriate work ethic even at a young age. And that means getting to wherever you have to go on time and being on time every day. Parents, please reiterate that the children have to wear a mask. If children do not wear a mask at the ECDC, we have been directed to send them home for the day. So please, parents, make sure you talk to your child about the importance of wearing a mask. And parents, please wear a mask anytime you come onto the property here at the ECDC. After this presentation, parents, a second link will be sent to you you will be able to go into that link and there you will find all teacher presentations. Please find your teacher's name and click on your teacher's name and you will be able to view their presentation. They worked very hard on the presentation, so please take the time to visit with them. In closing, parents, the function of education is to teach one to think 
intensively and to think critically. Intelligence plus character, that is the goal of true education. Parents, I'd like to thank you for joining us this evening. It is an honor and a privilege to educate your child. We do not take this lightly. We'd like to wish you and your child a wonderful school year. And please know that we are always here to support you and to be available to you if you need us. I'd like to wish everyone a wonderful and blessed evening. And I'd like for you to just enjoy a short inspirational video that reminds each of us that everything is possible with hope. Have a wonderful evening, parents. God bless you. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the world has changed significantly. Our way of life as we once knew it is different. It's natural to focus on the negative in times of hardship, but in our most difficult moments, there can be elements of good. The COVID pandemic allowed us to travel less and spend time with the people we love. Our health practices increased as we washed our hands and sanitized thoroughly. We found that there was a sense of wonder and new excitement in our own backyard. Individualism was replaced with a sense of community as we found ways to take care of ourselves and each other. We were global citizens strong as we helped those in need. We learned to appreciate the people and things we miss the most. It was a great day to see our scholars back in school. COVID has taught us that change can be positive if we elect to embrace it with optimism and hope. And when we do that, our faith is renewed, knowing that once you choose hope, anything and everything is possible. Family, here's to a great school year at J. Cresswell Stewart, ECDC, home of the superstars. <laughs>